Hey everyone, welcome to day 30. Woohoo, almost done. So today, all you need is the BOSU ball, the red band, and two dumbbells. Since it is upper body, and we are working on pushing and pulling function movements, okay? So we will be switching between the, the, the band and the dumbbells, okay? And it's gonna be pushing, pulling, all that kind of stuff, really engaging all of those functionality movements, okay? So let's get into it. Um, we're also, with, with a BOSU ball, we're gonna be adding a little bit more of like a balance theme. It was gonna be training your core and your posture and stability all in one, okay? So let's get into it. All right, timer is on. Let's go. So whipping out your dumbbells first, we're gonna go into a cross curl, okay? You're gonna stand on your BOSU ball, hip width apart, okay? Make sure you have good balance right on top of it, okay? So I'm not like too far forward, too far back, right on top of it. I'm gonna bring my arms forward and I'm doing a cross curl, or cross um, fly, rather, to the left with my right arm. And I'm gonna keep that going for 30 seconds, okay? Three, two, and one. Nice, we're bending at my knees, keeping my hips forward, not twisting, over twisting in the hips because then it's going into my knees and I do not want that. I really want to just engage my upper body. Five more seconds. Three and two and one. Let's set. Let's go. 30 seconds here. Breathing out. And start really pushing. Phase one, pushing this weight upwards. Forearms facing the ceiling. I'm staying really stable on my BOSU. Not falling over. No Keeping the same amount of uh, weight distributed between both feet. Almost through. Five, four, three, two, nice work, and one, that's it, good. Switching to the band, quick, quick switch, okay. Stepping back onto your BOSU, oh, stepping back onto your BOSU ball here, we're gonna go into split band row, okay? So I'm holding the edges here, you can grab more if you like, and I'm pulling it apart until it gets to my chest here, I'm slowly bringing it back, okay? So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds, trying not to pull it back and lean back, nope. We're staying right on top of our hips and allowing our arms to do this. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Split band row. Slow on the way back. Breathing out. Okay, remember, this is pulling action. So you want to really imagine like you're ripping that band apart. There's something in front of you that you would literally like, like, I don't know, like a wrestler or something. Now they rip the shirts. Doing that. <laughs> Keep going, shoulders staying down, pulling belly into the back. Nice work, 15 more seconds. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, drop the band. Now we're gonna go onto our BOSU ball with our upper back, okay? We're doing a single chest press going back to our dumbbells, okay? So here we go. So back, neck, head, shoulders, everything is on the BOSU ball here. And I'm lifting my hips off the floor, keeping my legs wide. I'm gonna keep my left arm still as I press with the right, okay? For 30 seconds, you're doing one single press. Three, two, and one, single press. This feeling like this. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Last one here was nuts. Almost done. 10 seconds and we're switching right away. In three, in two, and one, switching it up. Same thing here. Really trying to bend the elbow all the way back. So you're getting a full range of motion in your arms. Huh. 
Perfect. Ten seconds. Three. And two. And one. Good job. Drop the weights back to the band. Okay? We're doing a bent over row. So we're going to step on. First of all, put the band on the BOSU ball like so. Okay, you're gonna step onto the band and the BOSU with your feet, keeping the feet hip width apart. Now look in the mirror uh, beside me to my right. You're gonna lean forward, still keeping the same bent over row position here. I'm gonna do that for 30 seconds, okay? My chest is just hovering over my knees, okay? I'm not going like this. I'm really making sure that I'm at 45 degrees. Everything that I'm going to be doing on the floor, I'm doing it on the posy ball, okay? Here we go. Three, two, breathing out, and one. Causing a bit more instability than what we would be doing on the floor. Keeping my elbows close by. Making sure I'm not arching my back. No work. 15 seconds. Breathing out, pulling belly in. Three, two, and one more. Release. That's where. Okay, back to the top. Back to the cross flies, and we're going to stand on our ball. Three, and two, and one cross fly. Starting with that right arm. Bending at the knees. Maybe you should not stalk straight because that becomes very unstable. Also, blockage is not good for the joints. Ten more sec, fifteen more seconds actually. Nice job. Reach and press. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful other side. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Slow. Nice work, guys. Tucking my hips under just a little bit more here. I'm not allowing my ribs, my hips to rotate. Good work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Get your band. Tap for your split band row. You're going to stay on the bosu ball here, grabbing the ends of your band here. I'm going to rip it open like a super wrestler. What? No, just like a regular wrestler. Three, two, and one. Pull. Cool. Slowly back. Notice, I'm going to show you from the side now. Notice how my arms are moving behind my shoulders. That is what we want. Okay? You don't want to just bring it all to happen. You do want to pull it back. So you end up activating those pull muscles in your back, okay? Like the upper back, your rear deltoids, all that good stuff. Traps as well. Keep on going. Tucking the hips under. I know it's hard. You want to go like this when you're on the boat you ball, but keep tucking them right underneath you. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gorgeous. All right, release the band. We're going back to our chest press. Yes. Yes. This is what I like. Okay. Grab your knee again. That's okay. All right, so here we go. Head is on, arms are straight, hips are up. Let's go. In 
three, two, and one. Single arm press. Left one is just chilling. Not chilling, it's active. If you're keeping it straight, you're not, it's all you're doing. You're just isolating it. While the right one is doing all the work, bending it all the way down. Okay, make sure that it doesn't stay up here. You do want to take it down towards your bow suit. It's like I feel on the top part of my tricep touch the ball. That's what you want. 10 more seconds. Three, and two, and one, switch it up, same thing. Perfect, 15. Breathing out as you push it up. Five, four, Three, two, one. Rose. Nice job, guys. Okay, bent over rows. Let's get into it. So you're gonna place your band over your bosu ball first here. Like so, we're gonna step onto your band with your feet. Okay? My feet are definitely hip width apart, if not just slightly under that, okay? And I'm gonna grab both sides. Here we go, bend over rows in three, two, and one. Keeping the elbows really close by, okay? Still leaning forward, same thing that I'm gonna be doing on the floor, I'm doing on top of the ball. Ten more 
more seconds. Pull it all the way back. Five, four, three, two, and one more. Yes, beautiful. Drop the band, moving on to our chest press here, focusing on one arm at a time. Okay, single singles. In five, four, three, two, and one. Holding left, pressing right, keeping those hips up, ribs together. Okay, nothing is out of place. Elbows bending all the way down as far as you can. So you can truly engage that pec muscle and your chest muscles. Full engagement, full range of motion. Almost through five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Switch it up. Perfect. Keep going. Ten more seconds. Keep going. You got this. Five. Yeah. Four. Three. Two. One. Gorgeous. Drop the weights. Drop the hips. One more. Bands. Let's go. Into your bent over rows. Making sure that I'll show the side of you this time around. Third time the chart, right? Now, now, okay, facing the band over the ball here. You're gonna step onto the band first, bend down, grab the bands. Okay, and this is your position 45 degrees forward. Knees are just underneath my belly button. Okay, and we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Shoulders are back, elbows here. Three, two, and let's go. Try and get the band right up to your chest, okay? As high as you can.
So witness here, and I'm gonna be pulling with the right side, okay? So I'm here in my lunge. I'm gonna just keep this left arm holding the band, but the right is doing all of the work, okay? And I'm a little bit unstable because of my right foot being on both you. That's a good thing, it makes you work a little harder. Okay, let's go. In three, single band, split row, split row, three, two, and one. Pulling it all the way up. Elbow stays narrow. Trying to keep my hips forward. Okay, I'm making sure that the hips are completely square to your foot and the ball. Almost through. Ten more seconds. You can always choke up by grabbing a little bit lower here. That's fine. Five, four, three, try and get to your ribs. Two, and one. For a good left, nice work. Switching right away, switching sides. Yeah. All right. Left side, left leg. Three, two, and one. I'm still leaning over 45 degrees, pulling belly to the back wall. Making sure my elbow stays narrow and I'm hovering right over my front knee with my chest. Good work, 10 seconds. Nice. Choke up a bit more if you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Fabulous. Okay. Back to your weights. We're going to do a push phase. Okay. So this time it's going to be a little different because you're in plank. You're going to do a front raise, alternating the front raise while your toes are on the bosu ball. Okay. So it's going to be a little bit harder than normal. That's okay. Challenge acceptance. Right. Right. Let's go. So you're going to put your toes right on top of the ball. Like so. Spread them out as much as you can. Okay. Okay, do it. Spread them out as much as you can. If this is too hard, this front raise alternating, you're going to keep the feet on the floor and keep them wide, okay? Otherwise, you're really working and testing out your balance and your stability in your core and your back. Just keep alternating. You realistically only need one weight for this. Okay. Alternating front raise. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Switch. Switch. Make sure your hips, you're shifting them, but you're not opening them, okay? Shifting means left to right, not up and down. Three, two, 
and one, and we go back. Nice work! Okay, back to your uh, donuts. Going back to our rotational press. Okay, three, two, and one. Tucking the hips, moving behind you to push that weight up. Good work, 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice job, okay. Single band split rows here. So you're gonna step through. Let's start with our right leg first here. You're holding the left side as you row with the right. Three, two, and one, let's go. Keeping that elbow nice and narrow, okay? Let's flip the arm this time too so you get that forearm facing upwards. Still being a row in itself, but it's a supinated row. Good work. Let's get it into different parts. Three, two, and one, switching sides. Nice job. All right. Get, get, get in there. All right, three, two, and one. You're standing tall right over that front leg. Arms facing forward. It's supinated back row. Both hips are facing forwards, okay? I'm literally standing on the ball of my foot in the back here. So I'm not on flat foot, really challenging my balance and my core stability as I pull. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next jab, okay. Overhead front raise. Let's do it. Both toes are on the bosu ball. You're trying to keep them spread apart. I would say if you're on the ball, hip width, you can definitely find it. If you need more, you're gonna have to step off. Okay, which is totally fine because it's hard, hard enough as it is. Three, two, and one. Shift and lift. Shift the hips. You can shift left to right, not up and down, okay? Great for your core stability and back muscles. Pushing that weight up. Almost through. Ten more seconds. You got this. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Hallelujah! All right, almost through, guys. Grab your band. We're doing our retractions to the overhead pull. You. Okay, let's go. Three, two, and one. Bending the knees, tucking the hips, pulling forward. And up and around, back around, front pull, up and around, keeping that retraction nice and functional, okay? Make sure you're not hyperextending, you're bending just slightly at the elbows. Yes. Great for my computer people. Perfect, almost through, five, four, three, two, and last one, let's kill it, pull, up and around, back, and you done. Good work, folks, that was awesome, okay? Should be proud of yourself, standing on a boat while doing upper body, 
Not the easiest thing, but you did it. Look at you. Round of applause and a pat on the back, guys. I will see you for day 31 tomorrow at its core, and it's a tough one. You're going to love it. It's a great one. Give yourself a round of applause again, and thank you so much. I'll see you soon, guys. Happy New Year's Eve.